Running Away from God, The Story of Jonah, Part 1, Book of Jonah Chapters 1 and 2. Jonah was a prophet who served God during the reign of King Jeroboam II, 786-746 BC. One day, God commanded Jonah to go on a mission trip to Nineveh, the capital of the Assyrian kingdom to preach against its wickedness. Assyria, located in the Middle East, now modern-day Iraq and parts of Iran, Kuwait, Syria, and Turkey, was one of the world's powerful empires. The Assyrians were known for their viciousness. Its ferocious army were very cruel to smaller countries that it invaded and conquered. Jonah was hesitant to obey God's mission to Nineveh. He did not like what the Assyrians are doing. He wanted them to be punished by God and not forgiven for the horrible things they had done. For Jonah, the Assyrians should receive God's punishment, not forgiveness. Jonah went to the port of Joppa, near present-day Tel Aviv, and boarded a ship going to Tarshish, which was in the opposite direction of Nineveh. Nineveh was the capital of Assyrian Empire, located in the Middle East, while Tarshish was in southwestern Spain. Jonah wanted to make sure he was far away from Nineveh as possible, so they would not receive God's forgiveness for their sin. Jonah thought he was running away from God's forgiveness of Nineveh. He did not realize that he, himself, was running away from God. God sent a great storm while the ship was sailing on the sea. The strong wind threatened to sink the ship. The sailors were terrified. They prayed to their gods, and they threw cargo that were aboard the ship into the sea to lighten the load. Jonah, in the meantime, was unaware of what was going on. He was asleep at the bottom of the ship. The captain of the ship looked for Jonah and found him sound asleep. He wakened Jonah up and asked him to pray to his God to save them from perishing. The storm kept raging, so the sailors cast lots to see whose God was responsible for creating the storm and the lot fell on Jonah. Jonah admitted to the sailors that he was running away from God, and he offered himself to be thrown overboard since it was his fault that God had sent the great storm. The sailors at first tried hard to steer the ship to the shore so they do not have to throw Jonah into the sea, but the storm got worse. So, they cried out to God for forgiveness for what they were about to do to Jonah. They picked Jonah up and threw him into the sea and, lo and behold, the storm suddenly stopped. When Jonah was thrown into the sea, a massive fish, probably a whale, swallowed him. Jonah spent three days and three nights in the belly of the fish. Surrounded by gastric juices, plankton, small fishes, and debris inside the dark, smelly stomach of the gigantic fish, Jonah prayed to God. He repented of his bad attitude, and he praised God. God heard Jonah's prayer and forgave him, and the fish vomited Jonah alive on the shore. God spoke to Jonah once more and told him to get up and go to Nineveh, and Jonah arose and went to Nineveh to preach the message of God. Have you experienced God calling you to do something, but you did not really want to do it, so you went against God's will and went your own way? Sometimes we run away from the will of God only to find out that there is no way we can run away from God because His will is the only option in our lives. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you are always watching over us, that nothing in all creation is hidden from you. Everything is naked and exposed before your eyes, and you are the one to whom we are accountable. Lord, we ask for your forgiveness during times when we try to run away from you because we want to do things our way. We ask the Holy Spirit to convict us whenever we try to do things our way against your will. Help us to cling to you and to follow you all the days of our lives. To your honor and glory, we pray, in Jesus' name, Amen.